All right, next up is Baby Doll. Okay, Mariah, yo. Oh, I love those. Oh, those rhythms are so sexy. This song reminds me of the 4th of July when it comes to the chorus and the sense that they're using the main vocal of the chorus and like making a lot of it and like stacking it and then kind of pushing it in the background as if it was a backup vocal and then having her kind of float and do ad libs over it. It's the only thing that's happening. Like it's, it's, it's in the background, but you still know it's there and it's still isolated in a way. There's not a lot of backup vocals and things kind of being added on to make everything kind of sound like a big pile of like, you know, harmony and, and just like fluffiness or whatever. Like, there's not too much added. So it's like, even though it's in the background and it's treated as a backup vocal so that we can hear her beautiful ad-libs in the, like the forefront, it doesn't take away from the fact that that's still a chorus and it still gets priority, if that makes sense. <sighs> yes, I love the rhythm here so much. Ooh, I love it like that. Take me! <laughs> I love how the chords are sitting in this one. I just yes! Come on, let him know. That was so sexy. Like I said, I've said it so many different times, but this woman, her experimental ability, like her like, well, how do I say it? Like, her ability to experiment and it sounds good. <laughs> like, she's an effective experimenter. Ooh, that was so nice. It was clean and it was pretty. I liked the chorus. It wasn't my favorite chorus. I did like the chords in the chorus. <laughs> I love the production on that song. I'm not exactly sure who did it. If you guys know, please let me know. The rhythms are really, really nice. I liked how her voice bounced off of the different rhythms. I love how it seems like in this album, she's making more use of, like I said, like higher harmonies and just like using harmonies in her melismas and in her riffs and just like, not even like, starting with two different notes and then ending with two different notes like the whole time through. Like there are even times where like she'll start a phrase and then the harmony won't come in until like, like right at the end or like somewhere in the middle and then it'll cut out. Like it's very, it's very, it's not exactly common and it's not always done well. I just love how she puts, she seems to put all of the right things in the right places at the right time. Like I'm a fan of Baby Doll as a whole. And next up is Close My Eyes. <laughs> I like the echo there. Yes. I love the feel of it. These back of vocals, she's bringing it with this song. There are a lot of like. There are a lot of slow songs on this album, or not even slow, just low BPM, slow, <laughs> slowish like R&B songs on this album, which I'm so living for. I, I'm loving her use of harmonies in this album. Like it's, it's so different than the last one. It just sounds like an elevated version of that album. Mm. And I can listen to that all day. Like I said, I can listen to that that little chorus part. I can listen to that all day, every day. The it just sounds, it's it's the same. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again. I love her tone. I love how breathy it is. I love how she's using these harmonies. It just it just makes everything sound even more like godly. <laughs> like just ugh, like it just sounds so cute. Like I'm so here for that. And then I love her layering the vocals. I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. Like, <laughs> it sounded really good. I'm a fan of Close My Eyes. And next up is Whenever You Call.
Ooh. Okay. Leave some notes for the rest of us. <laughs> yes. See what I'm saying? Like, in her phrases, there will be certain parts that have the harmony and not others. Like, it's, but it's always a good choice. It's never, like, untastefully done. The chorus is pretty. Ooh. Okay. Key change. Oh. Girl. And her changes in between her like clear tone and the breathiness, same with Christina Aguilera, they're really, really good at that. And it just sounds so effortless. And so beautiful. Ooh. Yes! Girl! Uh, I don't know. <laughs> she said, y'all think I can't do ad-libs? You think I can't do riffs? Let me show you, honey. I feel like this album is just more free and it's just more for her to, to exercise and experiment vocally. And that song was the biggest testament to that that I've heard so far. There were so many riffs in that song and they all sounded beautiful. They all sounded like they deserve to be there. I love the message behind the lyrics of just being there for somebody. Like whenever you call, I got you, boo. Like we, we hear, like call me whenever you need, three in the morning, 2 p.m., like wh whenever, like call me. <laughs> I love the, the the feeling of support the lyrics brings and I love, I love the like drum dramatic, almost theatrical like feel that I got from the song. But I feel like that's also just her voice, just how big and powerful her voice is. It kind of just gives that feel a little bit. But yeah, I'm a fan of whenever you call. Mariah, call me. <laughs> All right, three more songs left. Next up is the Fly Away Butterfly Reprise. Why wasn't this higher? Whatever, let's get into it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that little whistle in the background is so cute. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I heard you, girl. Yes, her lower register is so rich. It's so gorgeous. Uh, girl. Girl, when I tell you that Mariah always knows how to hit the clubs with a banger, she was like, you thought that you were just gonna get Butterfly? No, here's the reprise, honey. Play this in the club. Like, I just love how she, especially how she does her own remixes, like, let's just keep going. But girl, I, Mariah, she always be thinking. Yes. The song is very like, it's very gay club. It's very runway. It's very like supermodel. Like those are the vibes that I'm getting from this song. Whoever's in the choir, give them their check. They sound amazing. Butterfly! Butterfly! Yes, choir! Give him praise this Sunday morning! So that song was cute. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't my fave. I liked the beat. Like, if it came on in the club, I would definitely go off to it. I love the choir. I love the, the emotion and passion that you can just hear through their voices. I also love Mariah's, like, like I feel like I said before, like her her change in breathy tone to like clear tone, but more so her change from like being soft and breathy to being like really big and giving you like big ad libs and big like powerful notes. I love the the contrast there in this song in particular. Um, and yeah, if the song came out in the club, I would definitely go off to it. So it's cute, it's cool or whatever. All right, and next up is the beautiful ones. Ooh. Oh, changing it up, okay. Oh, that's right, I don't know who that is. I like his voice. I'm not really sure how I feel about this song so far. Love that riff there. 
was nice. There were definitely some good moments. Like they both can sing very well. Like, so, you know, obviously like there were certain moments that sounded really pretty. There were a lot of harmonies that sounded really good. I loved a lot of their riffs and ad lib choices. Um, my thing with the song though is it's, it sounds more like a, like Mariah Carey got a new producer. They're just trying stuff out, but like live in front of an audience. And then she was just like, everyone, please welcome Drew Hill. And then he comes out and then like, you're just in the audience watching them kind of go back and forth vocally. Like almost the same feeling you would get going and watching two people argue. Like, it's cool and you're, like, into it for, like, you know, whatever you're there for, the drama or whatever, but it, you also understand that it doesn't concern you, and so you're just kind of an observer. You're not, like, in it. That's that's kind of the vibe that I got from this song. No offense to Mariah. You know, we know that she's incredible, obviously. But, and so is Drew Hill. But it just sounded like a like I was watching, or, like, I don't know, like, I just was a, 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 a an outside party just looking in on them singing back and forth with each other and their, or, their, or their practice session or something. Like, it didn't feel like I was involved in the experience. Um, yeah, I don't know. There was something about it that just felt unintimate, inintimate. How do you say that word? Disintimate. I don't know. But you know what I mean. It just didn't feel, it didn't feel like we were here, you know? All right, and last but not least, we have Outside. What you gotta explain, girl? I'm sorry, I was talking. One more time, one more time, wait. <laughs> oh, girl! Let them know! Am I being delivered? What are you saying? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. in there like oh i like that ending like a, a resolution just a resolution just in the album with just like yeah <laughs> okay butterfly final thoughts so there were a lot of slow songs on this album which i was not expecting honestly though it's perfect for this weather like cloudy and just like all like gloomy like so here for that i think the only song that i just like dead did not like was the beautiful ones like and i, I gave you the reasons why so for me like 11 songs out of 12 that's even more than daydream but i feel like this album was further solidifying her place in the music industry especially vocally like there's Ugh. Like, I'm sure there's only a handful of people that you can say can can give vocals, like really, really give vocals like she did in this album. I thought the album was super experimental. I thought that she was just being very carefree and just kind of letting whatever happened, happened. Like she just kind of was just like, just take the vocals, do whatever you want with them. Like I'm just having fun and enjoying myself. Every song had that feel and honestly, I mentioned halfway through that I felt like I was like being tucked in and I was comfortable in a bed. But I kind of felt that way throughout. Like the only song that kind of steered me from that a little bit was like Baby Doll and like the Fly Away Butterfly Reprise. Like those two songs I feel like had a little more of a change of pace than the other ones that I had heard prior. But it still was like, oh, and The Roof was kind of like that sort of. But I still felt tucked in. I still felt like I was all cozy and like warm and comfortable. Like she still did a very good job at making the whole album sound like it all needs to be on the same album and not, you know, kind of jump genres. It was very, very cohesive. I loved how she showed her vocal agility way more on this album than the last one. She just seems more confident, more unapologetic. I loved how she used more harmonies in this in more intricate, unexpected ways, especially like the higher harmonies. She, she really, really made use of her like upper register with those harmonies in this album and it's just, 
just gives me all the feels, all the goosebumps, all the stuff, you know? So yeah, I love the album as a whole. I thought it was a great body of work, but I do want to hear from you guys on what you want to hear me listen to or review next. I'll put a poll up here for you guys. Go ahead, click it. Give me your opinion on which album you want me to do next. If you want me to do the first one or just kind of keep going on from here, no problem either way. I just want to hear more of this woman, this queen's vocal. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and just for listening to me today. I genuinely appreciate it and I'll most definitely be seeing you in the next one.